Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Sekiro Part 7. Last time we started the Simpo Temple area. Uh, we got about, we're about halfway through I would say. We'll probably finish it up in this video. Um, this video may also be a bit on the short side because my time to record is pretty limited. I've got about a 30 minute window to try and jam something out and I kind of want to keep myself in the practice of playing this game. Uh, even though I like, you know, as I kind of mentioned a couple times, I don't, the, the recording schedule on this is going to be a little inconsistent um, as I get my ass kicked. It's been a couple days since I played last, so I'm going to have a, going to have a bit of rust at the start. Let's try and, uh, let's, let's survey the surroundings. So there's three, three men. There are three ha- oh lord, he coming. Okay, back up. Oh, You have been defeated. Just, just please be death load. He's so good at the, at the dang blow darts. Okay. It helps if you hit him. Why is that man so weak? Maybe because we were getting back attacks? Is that, is that a mechanic in this game? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're getting destroyed. That's what you're doing. I'm trying to remember, there's a secret around here somewhere, but I do not remember where you find it on my own. Okay, I kind of, like, I think that's over there, but I don't remember how you get over there. It's something we're going to need to do, I believe. It has to do with that, uh, quest from the big baby man we met in the last video, which I think has something to do with the, uh, the ending. We did not uh, grapple the way I wanted to. Plus, I think there's a um, oh, there's a, there's a there's a man. Oh, we got the we got the stealth. I did not even know you could stealth with that guy. I think it's like aha. Here we go. I think if you jump over, I don't know if we got the momentum. Okay, let's we'll try this again. With a bit of gumption, and then grab it. There we go. How do I... Okay, so we drop X. Gotta, gotta remember the controls. It's a little misleading because, you know, the, the PlayStation prompts are, uh... Not shown for this game. There's pro I don't know if there's something you have to do to, like, maybe... Enable them to not be Xbox by default. But I'm not entirely sure. Here we go. I'm trying to remember what it is. This what we're looking for? Yeah, here it is. The white pinwheel. That is one of the two pinwheels. Oh yeah, and there's also uh, this thing up here. I forgot this was over here. This is an optional area where you can get some items and also enable hard mode. Which I've never actually... I'm, I'm not going to enable hard mode because I'm um, a little baby boy and I don't want to embarrass myself in front of literally ones of people on the internet. Hopefully ones of people. Oh, please stop. And I've never beaten the game on the... Uh, well, basically there, there's, well, there's a couple different like, difficulty modifiers in the game. There's New Game Plus. Um, which obviously we're not going to do in terms of the LP because, you know, we started a new game without the plus. There is Courage Charm, which we saw in the very beginning of the game. And then there is, um, interacting with this bell. Let's rest up. I mean, we'll ring it, but we will, uh, not go through it. How do I, what do I do? Yeah, yeah, you ring the bell. And it'll cause great misfortune. Sinister burden. We've got the bell demon. The demonic spirit sealed within the iron bell of Sipho Temple. It possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening enemies around them. It has 
no particular effect aside from causing the demon to leave. I don't remember exactly what it does. I think it's just enemies do more damage, and maybe they have extra posture. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. We'll maybe do a couple fights with it just to try and see what the uh, the difference is, but we will not be playing on hard mode. I'm going to aim for uh, just beating the game efficiently on normal difficulty and not trying to uh, flex with my skill that does not exist. Where do I go? Can we... Can you backtrack this way? I don't think you can. I think we have to teleport again. We're gonna have to redo that blow dart section. Give me 17 cent. 12! Man, I was, I was overshooting that. Can you jump down anywhere? So like a sequence break you can do? No, these are, that is are dead ends. You cannot, uh... There's no sequence breaks to be had there, but we did what we need to do. We'll just run past the blow dart men and not bother with them. Hopefully that won't uh, cause bad things to happen. Okay, you don't see me. Climb! Climb! Fly, you fool! Not a, not a big fan of, uh, of hat boys. They, uh, they scare me a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, we do this fight. Um, also, I think there's another item over this way. A red and white pinwheel. So I think the white pinwheel is, like, the good one, and then the red and white pinwheel is not the good one. I don't know, they, they matter for like endings and stuff, kind of, maybe, don't exactly know how it goes. I should not fight this dude with the Bell Demon, but you know what, we're going to do it. We'll, we'll do one mini boss with the Bell Demon, or at least we'll do one attempt. Now, losing to this fight would be a little embarrassing, but we'll see. Oh, it is, and oh god, <laughs> uh, it helps if you actually hit the deflect button. It also helps if you learn the timing. How is that in this EP? Oh god. Oh lord, he mad. He mad. So the gimmick here is that he is obviously not taking HP damage. So you have to posture break him. Okay, just 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 spam. Just spam until you can get some distance. Does this posture not recover? This fight is not that difficult. I am just not able to time it. Okay, he mad. Just, just, you know, don't be afraid to... Okay, so we have, we messed up. You're supposed to, like, kick him off the edge. Because our sword cannot pierce his armor, as you see. So you want to, like... The delays are... Okay, I'm finally kind of getting it. Uh, please get kicked off the edge. He did not fall off the edge. Because his armor is immovable, and he cannot fall. That's weird, I've never not killed him on the first try. Or on, like, the first death blow. Okay, I just had to, had to. Oh no 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 no! I got I got I got, a, got an important one well, on important text, but I got a text through that that I had to read. I I have extra time to record, so I don't have to be uh. Okay, dude, this is embarrassing. We're 
we're actually going to lose. I have oh we have a resurrection still. Just just hit him. Just hit him. Hit him back. And please kick him off. Okay, we got him. That was awful. I can't even I don't even think I can blame the bell demon for that. I just did really bad. I could not block his attacks. We got a rare beat. And we got Breath of Nature Shadow. It gives you extra posture, or restores your posture on death blows. It's not half bad. Honestly, I don't really... I don't know what the effect of the Bell Demon is. You know, let's, let's learn together since I have extra time to record this video. We will alt-tab out, go over to uh, Google the Chrome, and go Securo Bell Demon. Demon Bell. Okay, my bad. So, it increases the combat stats of all enemies. They have higher, they do more damage, and they have extra HP. And they drop more loot. Okay. And then it stacks with Kuro's Charm, which we do not have. And Kuro's Charm, what are the actual effects of Kuro's Charm? You take 30% chip damage when you... Uh... Block and enemies have more HP and damage. I did not know about them having more HP and damage on Kuro's Charm. I thought it was just the chip damage. I think we're going to unequip the Bell Demon though. How do I do that? Yeah. Go away. As you can see, I am not uh, good enough at the game. I mean, I could, pro I could beat the game with it. I mean, the game's not that hard, but for the sake of the LP, I don't want to struggle and embarrass myself. <laughs> no dogs go to heaven, because they get shurikened. Can you go in here? No? Is this, this building, there's nothing in there, right? Apparently not. Don't, don't even bark at me, doggo. This is a no barking zone. Oh, who are you? It's a freaking, it's a monkey. Go away. No one likes you. Oh, oh, loud. I don't, I don't, that's the, one of the scariest noises is when you hear, uh, do 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 a bunch of tops. They do not die in one sure. I don't really have to go for the death blows. As long as we're at full Okay. Well, now we have to go for the death blows to get our sweet Vit region. You don't. You don't see anything. It was just the wind. Must have just been the wind. Can I, can I sneak attack him while he's alert? Yes, you can. And that doesn't really seem like that would actually kill him, to be honest. He takes lots of slashes and stabs. Got a persimmon. Okay. I don't know if I've ever actually been down here. This does not seem familiar at all. Oh, we're on the other side of the bridge. Where are dudes at? Idiot. <laughs> Can't hurt me now. Actually, you can probably jump that, so let's run away. Is there any, uh, anything else? Does not seem to be the case. Okay, let's keep it moving. I really do want to finish, uh, Simpo Temple in this video. So that we can go back to Ashina Castle and actually continue the story. I mean, you do... You do have to do this area eventually, so we're just doing a little out of order. Because normally you do Ashina Castle, and then you do Simpo Temple. Granted, the first time I played the game, uh, I also did Simpo Temple first. Not because... Like, not on purpose, because I could not figure out where you're supposed to go in Ashina Castle. 
so then I was like, oh my god, I don't know where to go. And then I did all of Simpo Temple, and I was like, I don't know where to go still. Okay, we have made awful mistakes in our life that have resulted in the Buddha being very mad at us. Uh, what, what is what is this? He is he is chunking fire bombs. All right, all right. I've got the advantage of significant. Uh, don't jump off the edge, though. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. okay. Give me those off frames. Uh, did not expect the second kick. No one expects the second kick. Also, who was chunking bombs at me? You're legally required to stop doing that. I will uh, sue you in civil and criminal court. Just don't be alive anymore. Okay, thank you. That actually went fairly well, considering we aggroed them all at once. Like a big old dummy. I feel like we're doing a lot more damage though. We haven't gotten a damage upgrade. I wanted to say upgrade and increase at the same time, so it became upcrease. We've not gotten a damage increase since uh, we were fighting those monks in the last video. Oh, frick, I forgot about this. There are indeed some very bad. There are many bad men. Surprised we killed him because his deflection meter was not posture. I tried to deflect, but I just did it too slow there. And then I didn't deflect that one at all. Honestly, like combo attacks just get me every time. Every time I'm like, I deflected you once. That means you must uh, run away in shame. And then they're like, I'm just gonna hit the button again. I'm like, oh no, I never thought of that. Where's the last one? There's indeed one more angry man. I don't even remember if you get anything for doing this. Oh god, there's two angry men. We only need a few more and then we'll have 12 angry men. Okay, so back attacks do seem to do more damage. Is that just for these enemies or is that for everybody? Am I learning new mechanics? Okay, I definitely was reflecting that. And I don't really believe you if you tell me I did not. I can spam deflect the best of them. Apparently not though. Yo, we've got dollar dollar bills. We should go back and get our uh, prayer bead. Okay, I would like that item. But that man in the middle is unkillable, and he is surrounded by many monks. So we will just, uh, sneaky, 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 uh, sneaky, sleepy, sheepies. Oh, he's, he's got us, he's a centipede, dude. I thought he was just like the, the other guy who's, oh god, was unkillable. But he has a centipede that guards him, and he can also not be killed. What? I've never been hit by that before, I don't think. Did you see that sink? Oh my god, they're they're totally in sync. Okay, I think he's dead. Okay, now I don't know why I thought that was a Mercury. I guess because the uh, the staff lords have a Mercury attack. Okay, so we're just gonna try and run past this man and get this item without dying. <laughs> that is not very good. I mean, it's an upgrade item that we probably don't need, but I thought it was gonna be something uh, important, like a gourd seed or a uh, well, not a prayer bead because those aren't those are never just lying around. Let's go back and heal. 
because we are not, well, it would be quicker to just do it like this. There is an item down there, we should probably get on our way back. It's a little over 20 minutes. Probably got about 10 to 15 more minutes to try and finish this off. We can... it's... We're not gonna, gonna completely complete the area, but we will be able to reach the end, I think. Because there's a couple bonus areas we can explore. If that makes any sense. I've already fought you once, I do not have to fight you again. Those are the rules of Dark Souls. But this isn't Dark Souls, it's Dark Souls. Is there any items over there? Maybe in that corner? I don't see anything. A lot of it will depend on how quickly we can do this fight. Which is, uh... A moderate difficulty fight. Uh, it's hard if you're an idiot and run into the fire. Not that fight, though. The fight that is above. That is... On a higher level. Okay, don't shush. Don't no 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 bad monster. Don't I cannot I cannot hit him? My man is invincible. Okay, shh shh shh. Must have just been the wind. It must have just been the wind. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. He didn't see me. Because it must have just been the wind. Okay, so we got the stealth attack, which makes this fight a lot easier. Oh, okay. Oh, he's, he's mad. Ah, shit! No, 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 That was not a gourd. Why can healing items just not be a specific button? Why do they always have to be something you add to your quick item so that then when you don't have the right thing equipped, that then you fuck up and die? So he is a fight where you spam like crazy. The problem is... Sometimes he won't break your posture, and then you like have to try and get it back. Like, see, I would prefer him to actually break my posture there, because then it's like I have to completely back off to get it back. Or, I mean, you could just perfect parry anything, because your posture won't actually break if you perfect parry. But I have zero faith in my ability to do that. Please, please get back up, get back up, get back up. Okay, never mind, just back off. He's, he's regained enough that... I don't really want to jump off the walls like that. Okay. Well, we got very lucky. Dude, I need to quit saying okay. It's like my go-to safe word. Yeah, apparently. Like I, I just say okay a lot anytime I, uh... Like, can't think of anything to say for a microsecond. Just throwing in okay. Is there, uh, is there any other items? I thought that was something else. I guess that's it. I guess it's mainly just a prayer beat. Hmm. There's a sweet statue. Can we jump on top of it and be lords of something? Uh, it's maybe possible, but we need to we need to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Let's uh, go back to our last commune idol. See, good thing we didn't have the bell demon equipped because we would have most definitely died there.
tell, I know I've gotten better at this game because when I first played the game, I had a, maybe not a ton of difficulty, but I had some, I had some definite problems with that man. But granted, he's kind of also, once you, once you learn to uh, accept the spam and be okay with it, because you don't really ever have to attack him. You have to attack him a little bit, but for the most part, you can just uh, spam your parry button until he submits to your will. Wait, is this where we were earlier? I can't tell. No, these are... Oh no, this is like the more direct way you get down to where we just were. There's an angry lizard. Honestly, I don't really see a point in fighting all these guys. TBH. Uh, hello. Goodbye. I am here to, uh, uh, steal your sugar. And that is it. I'm here to run away and pick up sugar, and I'm all out of sugar. Nope. I would like that item. I mean, I don't really give a shit about the item, but we'll get it. See? Thank you for your donation to the sugar hordes. Okay, we're almost done. We will, we can, uh, you know what? Operation Run to the Bonfire is a go. Because to be honest, that's what we need to do anyway, because I can't fight two of those guys at once. It is not possible. Actually, it's three guys, I forgot about you. Operation Run to the Bonfire, Operation Run to the Bonfire. Easy does it. See, they no one can run as fast as the wolf can. He's swift as the wolves of Ice Rack. Oh, hello, sir. Oh. You uh feel like you've seen better days, my dude. It's an area I have to explore. Uh, ask about the special holy person. They seem to like his, well, I guess that actually means left eye socket, but they don't, they're not a fan of the other one. Okay, we got, we got to move it along, old timer. It's got a favor for us. The child wanted to know the reason for her fate. We got a holy chapter infested. For an age, I have been blessed by the worm. To end dying is to walk the eternal path to enlightenment. Thus, I cannot become enlightened. I thus I must become enlightened to understand why I cannot die. It is said the holy dragon's origins were in the west. So I wonder, how did the worm come to be bestowed upon me? This is bloodborne nonsense. So, I mean, everything in my body is telling me to mercy kill this man, but I don't know if that's bad, so we're not going to. I don't like the idea that you can smell us and smell child. That's a, that's a little worrying. And that's why he's called the Divine Heir. If he wasn't exalted, he would just be a regular heir. Are we 
we done here? Okay, so we're, we're done. I would love to smack you with our sword, but we're not going to do that just yet. So we're kind of done with Simpo Temple. There's a, there's a couple, there's like a side area we can still explore, and we should go back and pick any items up that we kind of ran past back there. But other than that, we're pretty good. Don't, you may not come in here. I was just opening it. I was going to let some fresh air into the building. That is not an invitation for you to come in. Okay? Shush. Be quiet. I just want my pellet. But yeah, so we'll explore the little side area uh, at the start of the next video, and then we will move back to Ashina Castle and uh, start progressing the actual story. Well, let's level up. What do we got? What do we got? Kind of want Shinobi eyes. Even though I'm not very good at, uh, Mikiri countering. It will be quite useful for many fights later on. What is descending cart? A latent skill. For a few seconds after deflection, increases the damage to enemy posture from all sources. It's actually not bad. Upon wait. A latent for a few seconds after deflection increases damage to enemy posture. Increases the damage inflicted to posture upon performing. Aren't these the same thing? Am I... Like, these mean the same thing, they're just written differently, right? So after you deflect, you do increased damage to enemy posture. Increases damage inflicted to posture upon performing... I feel like this is, this is definitely a, a, you know, can I copy your homework? Yeah, don't make it too similar type of situation. Unless I'm just completely misunderstanding. I mean, we'll get the level 1 one, and then we'll come back to that. But, yeah. I'm ExtraCheese87. Stay tuned for the next part. And, bye guys.